Hello friends. In the previous session, we saw the definition of node, branch, loops, and uh, paths, and we did a simple problem also. So in this short video, we will be doing three problems regarding nodes, branches, and loops. So that all the confusion moves away. Now the question that I have taken here. So you are asked to find the number of nodes and the number of branches. So just by looking at this, let us see what we can understand. Okay. So just by looking at the circuit. Let me just make a copy of this circuit actually. First. Okay, just by looking at the circuit, let us just see how many nodes. So this is definitely a node, right? Because you are having the resistance R1 and Vs, and they are having a common point. Remember that node is a point at which two or more circuit elements have a common connection. So this is a node. You might have some confusion in this area here. Let us keep it that way. This is definitely a node, right? This is definitely a node because here R3, R4, and R6 are getting connected. This is also a node because R6 and R7 are getting connected with that point. Okay. Now, this point here is also a node because R8, R5, and R7 are getting connected with that. And finally, the point that's R2, R3, and R8 and Bs. Are getting connected is this point here. Okay, so let me just redraw the circuit just to remove the confusion. You can clearly see that this point, this point, this point. In fact, all these points are the same. So there is no point in this wire jumping around like this. You can put many more wires like this. Like a hat, you can put many more wires. So you just redraw the circuit for clarity. So this is your voltage V S. You are having a resistance R1, resistance R4. Here you are having something like this. Okay. Yeah. And here, look at this. So we just put the most less number of nodes which are visible. So there is always the same number of nodes, but less number of nodes which create confusion. So it's something like this, right? So this entire point I have told is one, and this entire point is one. Okay. So let us mark the nodes now. So this is a node, node number one. This is a node, node number two. Node number three, node number four, node number five. Finally, we are having node number six. Okay. So that is the number of nodes which we have. Okay. So with the number of nodes, we have got the number of nodes is equal to six, right? We have got the number of nodes is equal to six. Now next, let us find the number of branches. Now you don't have to split your head to find the number of branches because I have told you the number of branches is equal to the number of circuit elements. So let us count how many circuit elements we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You are having nine circuit elements, therefore you are having nine branches. Now, with that, let us move on to the next question. I hope it's clear. Now, here also we have to find the number of nodes. Okay, this is a straightforward question. Let us count the nodes. So between this voltage source and the resistance, you are having a node. The letters A, B, C, D does not such as nodes. Let me remember. Let, please remember that it is for another question. So this is the node number one. At this point, you are having the second node. That this resistance, this resistance, and this resistance are getting connected. So this is the second node here. Yeah. Now let us find the third node. Between these two circuit elements, these two resistors, you are having the third node. So this is the road node number three. And finally, everything is having a common node here. So this is node number four. So the number of nodes will be equal to four in this question. Again, you have to find the number of branches, which is very easy. So count the circuit elements: one, two, three, four, five. You are having five circuit elements. Let us get to the interesting bit of the problem. Now, what they have asked is, if we move from A to B to E to D to C to B, okay, A to B to E to D to C to B, is it a path or a loop? Let us see. So I hope you define. Remember the path. The path is a path we are taking, and we are encountering circuit elements and uh, nodes. A loop is a path in which you start at a particular node and you reach the same node. Right. So let's start here. 
you are moving from A to B, B to E, E to D, D to C, and C to B, and you are stopping here. You are stopping at node number B. Clearly, you have started at node A. Okay? You started, I am not calling them at A. Started at A. Alright? And ending at B. So, it is not a loop. It is a path. Alright? It would have been a loop. Let me give you an example of a loop here. It would have been a loop if you travel from A to B to C to D to E and back to A. It would also have been a loop if you start from B, C, D, E and B. So this part, this thing here would have been a loop and the outer thing also would have been a loop and A, B, E, E and E A also is a loop. So that is the difference between path and loop here. Let us jump to the next question. Yeah, the number of nodes and the number of branches. Okay, let us find the number of nodes here. A, B, C, D are not nodes. These are for another question. So let us see. So these two points are the same, right? So just take it as one. So here three elements are getting connected. This current source, resistor, resistor. So let me put this as my node number one. At this point, you can clearly see the current source, the resistor, and the resistor is getting connected. Node number two. At this point, the current source and the resistor is getting connected. Node number three. Here, you can clearly see three elements are getting connected, right? Node number four. And finally, so here there is another resistor, alright? No, you are not getting confused there. So there is another resistor here. Yeah. And finally, you are having the last node in which all the resistor, the independent current source, and the another resistor is getting connected. So node number five. So you are having five nodes here. The number of nodes is equal to five. Now, let us move on to the next question. The number of branches, which is very straightforward, just find the circuit elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Therefore, you are having 7 circuit elements. And the next is BFEC. Is it a path or a loop? By looking at that itself, you can find that it has not returned to B. So, it must be a path. But let us trace the path, right? So now, it is starting from B, moving to F. Right, coming to E, and then you have gone to C. So it is a path. So this is a path. It would have been a loop if it have returned to B. Alright. So I am stopping this lecture here, and I hope you have understood the concepts of node, path, and branches. And I hope you will be able to solve problems if they ask you to find the number of nodes, the number of branches, and ask to see whether a path is a loop or not. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video in which I will start with Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. Thank you.